Hey guys, welcome to that Florida feeling. How are we today? Everybody doing good? I hope so. It is Friday. Hopefully you have some fun plans for the weekend or if you're like me and you don't understand what a weekend is because you work anything in customer service, I just hope you have a good couple days. (laughs) I am kind of amazed at the poll. I thought that a Crocs were either a love or a hate and there's some in between. Um, I just was shocked that there wasn't quite a few no's, but there was only like one or two, but there was more of that they are never okay, or yes, they're acceptable. There was really kind of no in between. Um, apparently a few of us wear them around the house. I'm guilty of that. I do own a pair. They are my house shoes. They do not see the light of day, except maybe to go to the mailbox. <laughs> they are comfortable, but I do not have that much self-confidence to wear them around in public. Sorry. Um, for those of you who do, I understand why they are comfortable. I just thought it was really funny that there was really no middle ground on uh, Crocs. Hope you guys enjoyed last week's episode. Thanks for coming back for more. Um, If you have a second, I really would appreciate a like, follow, subscribe on any platform you listen on. Um, It's really cool that I use Anchor. And they just came out with a thing that shows how many um, subscribers that I have on Spotify. I am blown away. You guys are simply amazing. I really, really appreciate that. I was not expecting to see that number. So thank you. Thank you for everybody who's made this podcast possible. I really appreciate you guys. So today I want to talk about something fun. Something definitely Florida. Something that if you've lived in Florida, you've probably tried. If you haven't tried it yet, I definitely encourage you to at least try it once. And I am talking about key lime pie. Yes. One that when you go to Key West, you must just have a slice. Or if you're in Publix, Publix also has an amazing key lime pie. But I want to talk about the history of key lime pie because it's, you know, very Floridian. So at the basis, what is key lime pie? Key lime pie, key lime pie is basically lime juice, egg yolks, and sweetened condensed milk. You can put meringue on it or you don't have to. A lot of times we don't. I usually serve it with whipped cream as opposed to... Um, meringue because I don't want to beat egg whites to make meringue. I don't care. Um, and you can put it in a pie crust or a graham cracker crust. Uh, usually I go with a graham cracker crust. And of course, what is the dish named after? It's named after the small key limes, which grow in Key West. So what exactly made someone want to make this pie? Well, there's a couple different theories about where this pie came from. A couple different legends. Um, they say the origin is in Key West. I believe it. I absolutely believe it. Now, where did it come from, though? A lot of people think it's a variation of the Magic Light Lemon Cream Pie that was actually put out by Borden's, who's a producer of condensed milk, in the 1930s. And they think that this came from possibly a um, a contest to get you know, recipes, new recipes, and fun, and that's where they think it started, but I don't know if I believe that one. I I believe that this is actually probably truly a Key West recipe, and the reason I believe that is because, of course, there's the variation of Borden's. Did they get it from this, and did they swap instead of lemon pie? Did they just put limes in it, and then it reverted into key lime, or like an icebox pie? So, I believe, the story that I believe, is that William Curry, he was a millionaire, he lived in Key West, he had a cook named Aunt Sally, and she would have had access to sweetened condensed milk back in the late 1800s, and she invented this pie for her boss, and I think that that is probably more of a real thing, because there is a real Aunt Sally, and she of course, would have had access to sweet condensed milk, especially in uh, Curry's mansion. You know, he's a millionaire. He could get anything he wanted. And I really think that Aunt Sally is probably the the person who did invent this key lime pie. You know, key limes are definitely a thing. They're smaller than regular Persian limes. They would have been growing in Key West. It would have been something she could have gotten. And this is totally... I think the true origin of key lime pie, I don't, I think Borden's probably did see it and do something with it, but I think that this is probably, probably her. I think this is, you know, Aunt Sally from night, from 1895. And 
the reason that they, I think it's Aunt Sally is because there was promotional materials around from the Currys for their, uh, you know, for their thing. And they would talk about this key lime pie. And I think it's absolutely right because in Florida, they, there was such a thing as an ice box lime pie. And that's basically what I think of when I think of a key lime pie because it's refrigerated, right? You leave it in the refrigerator, ice box. And so I think that since it was mentioned as a specialty in the Keys, even starting in the 1930s, that this had always been in the Keys. It had always been a thing. You know what I mean? Um, now, a tropical lime chiffon pie using condensed milk and egg yolks was documented in the 1933 in Miami. Um, but then the official key lime pie name was given in the 1940s. Now, this is where some of those people think that Borden came up with it because Borden started talking about it in 1931. Um, and there's actually been a lot of debate over this, and there's been a lot of people looking at it and a lot of history. Um, one of the people that thinks that it's the actual Key West location, which I believe too, is a pastry chef named Stella Parks. She was digging up research on this, and she actually said that, you know, people would have used the limes in Key West because that's what they had instead of lemons. They were already there. They could just go get them. And that's kind of why I believe that. Now... Of course, key lime pie has been around for a very long time. We, it's kind of one of those mysterious origins. You just always know that it's in Key West. Um, but of course, key lime pies, so we're going to say lime, even though it's key lime, lime pies, were have been on restaurant menus in the Keys since like the 1920s. So where did it come from? You know what I mean? And people say that various accounts obviously stated that it was from Aunt Sally and that people just kind of share the recipe around, which happens. You share it with your friend. You like it. You want the recipe. Here, let me show you how to make it. And I really believe that's what happened. I really believe that that is where key lime pie has come from. Um, and, of course, key lime pie is actually pretty simple to make. But in the 1950s, key lime pie was promoted as Florida's most famous treat. And in 1987, the greatest of all American des regional American desserts. So I think that's pretty cool. And originally, in 1965, um, they wanted to <laughs> they wanted to make a bill. This bill is hilarious to me. They actually, one of the Florida State Representatives, wanted to um, geographical indication legislation. That's the kind of bill. And this was in 1965. He wanted to call for a hundred dollar fine to be levied against anyone advertising key lime pie, but not made with key lime. <laughs> He was dead serious about his pie, and it had to be made right, and you were not allowed to say that it was key lime pie if it was not made for with key limes. I think that's great. I think that's a testament to a true Floridian and just how much they love their Florida foods. Um, but of course, in July of 2006, key lime pie is the official Florida state pie. So key lime pie is definitely a, state, a statement down in Key West and even all over Florida, and I agree with it. Publix makes a great one. You can find some amazing key lime pie, which we're going to talk about here in a second. But first, let's talk about what is key limes. What is this ingredient that came from the keys and makes this wonderful pie? So key lime uh, is naturalized throughout the Florida Keys. And, you know, they have a thin yellow rind, which are it's like a yellowish green color. Key limes tend to be more tart and aromatic than the normal Persian limes you see in the grocery store or you would get in your cocktail. Um, but key limes have actually not been grown commercially in the U.S. since the 1926 Miami hurricane. They are grown around, but they're generally more imported from Central or South America. However, you can find them in the wild in the Florida Keys. No one actually agriculturally uh, grows these. Now, of course, uh, key lime juice is actually pale yellow, not like regular lime juice, which is more of the green color. Um, key lime juice is actually yellow, and that's kind of why a true key lime pie isn't that greenish color. It's that light yellowish color that you've seen in the stores. And of course, if you've ever bought a bottle of key lime juice that's from Concentrate, it's that yellowish color. Um, but these were originally from the Florida Keys. They were actually grown in Florida. Um, agriculturally and commercially up until the 1926 Miami hurricane, which was a bad hurricane. Um, but of course, at that point, people had been trading them and they had been started to growing in other places. But it is still a Florida staple. It is still a key lime from Key West. <laughs> now, where 
in Florida can you find some of the best key limes, key lime pie? And I'm sure you're probably all yelling Publix or you've got this place. So we're going to talk about a couple places where you can get some amazing key lime pie. And of course, when I talk about key limes, I am talking about the actual original key lime um, that did originally come from Florida. So let's talk about the best places to get key lime pie. Now, of course, the most famous establishment in Key West for anything involving key lime is Kermit's Key West Key Lime Shop. And of course, this is probably one of the best key lime pies ever. Um, everybody kind of knows about it. It's kind of its own thing in Key West. It's a cute, adorable little shop. It's definitely, if you're in Key West, you need to check it out. Um, they actually have a restaurant there. I have been there. I've eaten this key lime pie. It is amazing. And they sell a lot of other cool stuff other than just these pies. But um, yeah, you can actually buy their key lime pie and have it shipped to you <laughs> all over the U.S. And they have a couple variations. They have the regular key lime, coconut key lime, strawberry key lime. And of course, they also have some key lime bars. Um, but it's, you, yeah, you get it shipped. It's overnight. Obviously, it's in dry ice. It is FedEx. So, you know, you, it, it costs a pretty penny, but if you're ever in Key West, I definitely recommend checking out um, Kermit's. It's an amazing place. It is absolutely divine. It's beautiful. It's a cute little charm, but it has some of the best key lime pies ever. Now, of course, there's other places to get one. And another good place is the Square Grouper. And this is actually a restaurant bar seafood place. Um, it's kind of one of those hidden gems in the Keys. But of course, they also have some amazing key limed pie. Um, it's actually on Cujo Key, so mile marker 22-ish. Um, and you can go and you can eat. And they actually have a really great menu of, you know, home, or well, it is homemade, but locally caught seafood and delicious stuff. But definitely, definitely check out their key lime pie. It's another one of those touted all over Florida that is just delicious. It's $8 for a slice, but it's a pretty big slice. And trust me, you guys, it's definitely worth it. And while you're at the, the square grouper, I definitely recommend checking out the shrimp. Um, one of my favorite things is the coconut shrimp. Just going to throw that out there. <laughs> so, you know, and I mean, majority of the places we are going to talk about is going to be in the Keys, obviously. That's kind of where the recipe started, and that's where it's kind of grown. Um, you can find some good one in Miami as well, and of course Publix. Um, but, like, okay, so my favorite, funniest thing to place to find key lime pie, for whatever reason, is actually the Columbia Restaurant. There is one in St. Augustine, and of course there is one in Tampa, actually in Ybor. Um, and the Columbia Restaurant is kind of known for all this Cuban and Spanish food, and it's delicious. But they actually have a really good key lime pie. Um, they have a graham cracker crust and it is their key lime pie, but they drizzle it with guava paste. And so it kind of gives a little bit of extra flair. Again, definitely kind of go for the Columbia restaurant because that's one of the oldest restaurants. Um, one of the, it was, believe it was opened in like 1904, 05 by a Cuban immigrant. And, you know, it's a great place. You've got to go just for that, especially because it's, a, it's an Ybor city. Um, shout out for Tampa again. And it's just like a machine. It's an amazing restaurant. It's beautiful. The food is great. But then they have this really cool variation on a Florida restaurant or Florida dessert with the key lime pie. Um, so I definitely recommend that one. And then another one that I'm going to recommend is kind of more intro. It's more uh, Central Florida. It's actually in Disney. It's called Sister Honey's. Sister Honey's is one of those places that has an amazing bakery shop, like sweets and treats and all the fun stuff that you could ever imagine. Um, I think it's great. I have definitely sampled some of their stuff. Um, it is in Orlando. Um, sorry, it's not near Disney. Well, it is kind of near Disney. It's, it's outside of Kissimmee, but it's kind of near Disney. So if you're ever there for Disney, definitely go to see this place. Sorry. I got mixed up on where it was. I was thinking of another place that was there, but definitely go. It's actually towards downtown Orlando. Not very far, like 20 minutes. Um, but they have cakes and pies and cookies that are made from scratch, but they have an amazing key lime pie. Um, probably, probably one of the best I've ever had. Um, I did get to try it and they have, but they have like a really, a really cool take on it. 
Like they have a blueberry lime, which is really, really delicious. And then they have like icebox pies. And then of course they have the key lime pie with hand squeeze, 100% real key lime juice. And it's got the cool graham cracker crust. It's got the whipped cream topping instead of the um, uh, baked crust. Or sorry, baked crust or meringue. It doesn't have either of those. It's like the more the traditional with the graham cracker crust and the whipped cream. And it's super delicious and it's super rich. And it's got that tart flavor that you're just going to like. And so I actually like this place. It's kind of another hidden gem that's definitely an Orlando thing that you need to check out. And of course, shout out to Sister Honeys. They do have a lot of other cool things. Pies, cupcakes, cakes, cookies, pastries, some delicious cookies. Delicious cookies. You guys got to try them. Um, You know, and they offer some cool different things. Um, So I definitely recommend checking them out if you're looking for some key lime, but you can't quite make it to the keys. And then, of course, there is the uh, Florida Key Lime Pie Company. Another great one that I can recommend. Um, not not in the Keys as well. Um, but they have, I mean, they're pretty much well known for their Key Lime Pies. Like, that is one of the things that they stand out, and that's, that's in their name. So, definitely another cool place to get it. Um, it is in uh, Cocoa Village, Florida. Um, and, of course, if you're there on spring break, definitely give it a try. Um, or if you're just vacationing. And they they have really cool variations on key lime as well. You can get it in a cup. You can get it by the slice. You can get it on a stick. You can take the whole one home. You know, so this is definitely, you know, their thing with key lime. And then, of course, they do other key lime flavors um, or things with key lime flavor. But they have some really good um, cheesecakes. But the cool thing I liked about them is that they take this key lime and they kind of put it on everything. And they made key lime yogurt covered pretzels. Um, they're called Cocoa Beach Crack, but they, they are amazing. Um, they're probably, probably one of the best, and again, one of the little shops that I've ever been to that has, um, you know, they have ice cream and taffy, but of course this key lime pie is really what they're known for. And Cocoa Beach is popular. If you've ever been, you know that it's one of those really cool little places that you want to go back to. And so I definitely recommend trying it. They also have key lime macarons. So, I mean, they've really taken this flavor and run with it. Um, again, if you can't get to the keys, definitely another one of those places you want to check out. Um, and so, I mean, like I said, you know, Key Lime Pie is one of those Florida, it it is Florida. You think of Key Lime Pie, you think of Key West or the Keys or just Florida in general. And I like it because it's that right, perfect balance of tart and sweet. And then the lime flavor is just right there. And, of course, you'll find it in different ways. You'll find it more of a custardy texture than a solid cheesecake-like or even a whipped flavor. Um, Graham cracker crust as opposed to a pie crust. Meringue versus whipped cream. You know, either way, any way you find it, you definitely want to try it. Definitely try it. Um, And then I must say my favorite, absolute favorite place to get key lime pie in the Keys is Pepe's. Um, It is a cafe steakhouse. It is in the Keys. Um... It is absolutely amazing. They have probably some of the best key lime pie. It is in Key West. Um, And I just, that's my favorite. That is by far my favorite. Of course, if you can't get there, Publix has it. Nothing wrong with Publix. I kind of admit that I'll go to Publix if I just need my key, uh, key lime pie fixed. Nothing against it. But, you know, these are, there's, so there's plenty of places in Florida that have embraced this Florida treat doesn't really matter the history, although we know, we all know it was Aunt Sally in Key West. Um, But it's definitely one of those Florida things that if you're visiting or if you live there, it's one of those you want it every now and then, or sometimes you want it all the time. And either way, that's okay. But it's definitely that Florida feeling. And so I just wanted to talk about the origin of Florida's, one of Florida's most well-known treats. Um, I thought this would be like a fun little episode. Um, But of course, you know who else eats key lime pie? Yeah, we know. We know it's Florida Man. Um, And, of course, Florida Man never, ever, ever ceases to amaze us. Um, And so, (laughs) today's Florida Man, we, you know, today's Florida Man was kind of hard. But, first of all, have you guys seen the Florida Man trailer on Netflix? I I can't wait. I just can't wait. Uh, We've posted, me and a couple people have posted about it on the Facebook group and page. And I, I can't wait. I just cannot wait to see 
what they're going to do for Florida Man. I I can only imagine. Um, So today's Florida Man actually comes to us from uh, January of 2015. And the title gives away the entire story. Florida Man in, no seriously, I have drugs t-shirt was arrested for possession of drugs. Right? Who would have thought? Sometimes criminals are that stupid and make it that easy. But at least he was using honest advertisement. I mean, you know, he just kind of, he just kind of gave it to you there. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed learning about key lime pie and, you know, one of my favorite Florida treats. Uh, I definitely, again, recommend trying it next time you're in Florida or if you're in Florida right now, head to Publix, pick you up a whole or a half pie, stop somewhere at a cafe, try you a piece. You definitely won't be disappointed. Thank you for listening today, guys. Um... If you like these smaller episodes about like maybe one thing, just let me know. Just reach out, say hi, post it on the Facebook group page, Instagram, TikTok, however you want to say hi. Let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions, please, please, please let me know. Um, I hope you enjoyed learning about Florida's sweet treats and don't forget to wear sunscreen, drink your water, guys. Be nice to one another. And as always, that's your daily dose of sunshine.